Landscaping is all about finding the right plant for the right place. And sometimes we may have an area with poor soil that remains dry most of the growing season. While some may consider this a landscaping challenge, I see it as an opportunity to plant low maintenance shrubs and perennials that not only tolerate these conditions, but thrive. So instead of amending the soil or running water lines, let's take a look at some of the most popular flowering plants that thrive in dry soil and heat. Dry soil can be defined as soil that drains too quickly or simply cannot soak up enough moisture to stay damp. This could be a sunny slope or simply an area of the garden that is too far away from a sprinkler or hose to be adequately watered. So the solution is to design your garden to withstand drought. This does not mean you are limited in color and variety. Let's start with 15 of the showiest perennial plants that may surprise you with their color, bloom power, and of course, drought tolerance. First on the list is coneflower. If you are looking for a specific flower hue, this is the plant group to look for. They are available in a wide array of cultivars in varying shades of red, pink, purple, yellow, and white. These clump forming perennials are great for birds, and once the petals have fallen, their cones add great texture to the landscape. Next is the blanket flower, and it will do exactly as described, blanket the ground in bright, tropical looking colors for weeks on end. This plant loves full sun and poor soil and can easily handle heat and drought. Russian sage is a stately, quick-growing perennial that requires no fuss. Don't water them, don't fertilize them, and you'll provide a nice show in the summer months. Plus, pollinators love them. Their colors pair nicely with other types of plants, especially those with dark purple foliage or orange flowers. Peach, pink, red, white, or yellow blooms are the show on yarrow. This is another perennial not to fuss over, attracting pollinators to the garden. You can shear back the plant after the first set of blooms for a tidier plant, or allow older blooms to fade alongside fresh blooms for an array of flower hues on the same plant. Whether you choose a variety that grows tall or one that stays rather short, all of the false sunflowers will bloom for months and months providing a non-stop show. The yellow flowers are loved by pollinators and provide a nice warm color to the landscape. This workhorse can provide bright color during the hottest of hot and the driest of days. If there was ever a classic perennial for every single garden, that would be the daylily. With so many flower shades, many of which are ruffled, and some even considered designer, there is a variety for you. These easy to grow plants are so easy to grow, in fact, that you can provide them with the poorest of poor soils and they will still be happy. They are virtually disease and pest free and will grow in full sun to part shade. Lavender grows best in sandy Mediterranean climates where summers are warm and dry and winters are mild. But don't be discouraged if your climate isn't ideal. Some of America's loveliest lavender farms are located in the rainy Pacific Northwest and in the chilly Midwest. They actually grow best in poor, gravelly soil. Do not be tempted to enrich the soil at planting time. They require no fuss except to shear the plant back in early spring to promote new growth. One of my favorite perennial plants of all time is the ornamental allium. In fact, the variety Millennium was awarded the 2018 Perennial Plant of the Year by the National Perennial Plant Association, and for good reason. This perennial provides great presence through the hottest part of the summer, with its clean green foliage and abundance of little purple blooms that are absolutely adored by honeybees and other pollinators. Plus, its oniony scent usually steers away pests and grazing by rabbits and deer. If attracting hummingbirds and butterflies is on your radar, then bee balm is a must. Monarda is native to Eastern North America, making it easy to grow, but some varieties do have a tendency to multiply rapidly. Plus, the aromatic foliage smells like mint when crushed and can be used to flavor teas. There are hundreds if not more cultivars of this species available on the market, with colors ranging from pink to red to purple to lavender. Meadow sage, also known as perennial salvia, features dense spikes in shades of pink, purple, blue, and white atop clump-forming aromatic foliage. Just deadhead the spent blooms to keep the flowers coming throughout the summer. This one also attracts hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies, but is not attractive to deer and rabbits. Scented foliage, easy nature, and a long bloom time? What is not to love about catmint? This low to medium grower prefers full sun in dry, well-drained soil. This plant also tolerates very poor soils. Shear the plant back by half after its first bloom cycle to stimulate a second bloom. This must-have plant also repels deer and rabbits from grazing. 
The Black-Eyed Susan flower is a versatile, heat and drought tolerant perennial that should be included in many landscapes. They produce all summer long, providing perky color and velvety foliage, requiring little care from a gardener. The golden daisy-like flowers have a distinct brown central cone that provides seeds for small birds. Anise hyssop is a great plant for a dry sunny spot as not only will it thrive in this location, but it requires it. Good drainage is a must for this plant. This native to the Southwest US and Mexico is one of the most rewarding and easiest to grow perennials around. Their bottle brush like blooms are produced on strong upright stems for months and months. Plus, the foliage smells distinctly like black licorice when crushed, hence its name, Anise Hyssop. False Indigo is a distinctive perennial with blooms usually in pink, yellow, and shades of blue and purple, blooming atop tapering spikes of one foot long or more. Even after bloom, the three inch black seed pods will remain attractive well into winter. This native prairie plant is easy to grow and thrives with little to no maintenance, acting as a backdrop in borders or as a specimen plant. Last but certainly not least is milkweed. Milkweed is a host plant for monarch butterfly caterpillars, making it a must for every garden. This virtually hassle-free, long-lived perennial offers months of pretty blooms. The nectar from the blooms is very attractive to hummingbirds, bees, and of course, butterflies. It is found naturally in dry fields and slopes in full sun. It is native to North America, from New York all the way to Florida and out to the West. The following plants were not highlighted in today's video, but nonetheless, they are also popular choices for a drought tolerant landscape. Instead of jotting these down or pressing pause, we have made it easy for you. Just click the link in the description for the full list of drought tolerant plants discussed in this video. If you're looking for plants for the front of the border or something low growing to use as a ground cover, creeping phlox, bugleweed, and low growing varieties of sedum are all good choices for a drought tolerant garden. If you're looking to go vertical, there are a few flowering vines that will tolerate the heat and dry soil. Starting off with trumpet vine. This vigorous vine produces tubular flowers in yellow, orange, or red shades that are very attractive to hummingbirds. This plant can take whatever you give it, tolerating a wide range of soil types from sandy, loamy, clay, and of course, dry and well-drained. Be sure to choose a suitable location prior to planting, as well as a sturdy support structure. Bougainvillea vines are often seen growing in hot climates, such as Southern California. This means this vine is well adapted to dry climates. If you do not live in these warm zones, it can be grown in a large container. Gardeners caring for bougainvillea don't need to worry much about water once the plants are mature. All you need to do is wait for the spectacular summer blooms it provides. Wisteria is long-lived, tolerates dry soils, and needs little water with the reward of numerous flowers in early summer. Take caution with this vine though. It can quickly overtake an area without proper care. But if you have the right location for it, it can be the perfect shade provider over an arbor or other structure. There are many more vines that tolerate drought conditions. See the link in the description for the full list. So now you have the know-how to grow some of the most floriferous flowering plants that thrive in dry soil and drought. By selecting plants that tolerate these dry conditions, a beautiful thriving landscape can be made possible. For more information on drought tolerant plants and their care, please visit us at gardeningknowhow.com and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.